Have you guys heard about radioactivity before? Obviously. Okay, so the next learning outcome is explain. Explain what? Explain alpha, beta plus, beta minus and gamma decay. So I think all of you are used to alpha decay code. Okay, so alpha decay. <coughs> okay, for example, alpha decay, bila kita decaykan dia, for example, you have uranium. Bila you ada uranium, contohlah kan, mesti ada apa-apa atom. Okay, atom dia akan ada nuclear number and proton number. So, bila miss decaykan dia dengan alpha decay, kita akan dapat new atom. And new atom itu, dia punya... Nuclear number akan berkurangan sebanyak 4 dan proton number dia akan berkurangan sebanyak 2. Dan dia akan tambah dekat mana yang kurang ni? Dia akan tambah dekat he helium. So this is the equation for your alpha decay. So bila alpha decay ni you kena faham. Dia usually for heavier place. Okay sambil miss aja sambil salin boleh? Sebab ini cerita-cerita je. Usually for heavier nucleus. Meaning, dia punya proton number is more than 32. Okay, everyone look here. Cuba tengok. Proton number Z kan? Proton number dia decrease by how much? Okay, decrease by 2. Alright. And then neutron number dia decrease banyak berapa? Uh, okay, it's okay we do. Okay. Nuclear number decrease banyak berapa? Nuclear. 4. So, nuclear number will decrease by 4. Neutron number akan decrease by 2. Okay, so you need to know, this is parent nucleus. Okay, sebelum dia ada decay by alpha decay, dia adalah parent. Tapi lepas decay, dia akan dapat do daughter nucleus. Okay, so this is parent nucleus. Okay, can once you guys are done, you let me know, yeah. Okay, Mr. Ruska, sure. Everyone done. Okay, I'll proceed with decay. So, beta. Beta will have two. Beta plus and beta minus. Okay, so the first one we are going to learn about beta minus. Beta minus. So, beta minus. Beta minus, this is very, very important here. Yeah? Beta minus usually happen. Okay, they usually happen dekat mana tau? Two unstable nuclei which is rich in neutron. Rich in neutrons. Remember, beta minus dia kaya dengan new neutrons. So, beta minus one neutron in the parent nucleus decays into tiga benda. Dia akan decays to proton and then dia akan decays to electron dan juga dia akan decays to anti neutrino. So, this is your proton. Ha, ni, dekat sini adalah proton awak. 
And this is your electron. And nampak tak? Another one this one. Bentuk V ni. V dan dia ada sengkang ke atas. Dia adalah anti neutrino. So if you look here. Proton number dia increase ke decrease? Z awak. In? Increase. Very good. So proton number increase by one. Actually, and your neutron number, dia akan decrease by one. And also your nucleon. If you look here, your nucleon number A and A ni, dia adalah remain un unchanged. Nucleon number remains unchanged. Okay, done. Low done. Very fast, very good. Okay, uh, eh, Fatin dengan Santi done ke? Sharon ni Fatin done? Belum. Belum, okay, baiklah. Kenny should join online if you cannot, dia tak datang kan. I hope he, he join online but no, unfortunately. Dah, okay yang lain dah ke? How do I switch on my Okay so baiklah Tadi beta minus sekarang kita nak belajar Pasal beta plus Okay so now beta plus Ni tulis kat sini ya eh. Beta Plus Okay beta plus You rasa dia rich in neutrons ke Poor in neutrons Poor very good So beta plus dia akan Usually happen Usually happens to unstable nuclei which is poor in neutrons. Miskin neutrons. So, itu nama dia beta plus. So, what happen is dia akan kekurangan proton sebanyak satu dan ini adalah positron. Dia akan dikit kepada positron dan dia akan tambah dengan neutrino. Kalau anti neutrino dia akan ada sempang ni ke atas. Tapi kalau neutrino ah dia tak ada sempang. Okay. So beta plus one proton is the parent nucleus Decays into three things. Decays into tiga benda juga. Iaitu Neutrons Positrons And neutrino. Positrons and also Neutrino. And we know here proton number dia Akan increase by one. Neutron number, sorry, sorry, proton number decrease. Beta, beta, uh, beta minus yang decrease. Increase. Neutron number increase by one. Tetapi nucleon number remain unchanged. Tetap sama yo.
Okay kan? Dan Everyone else done? Okay so for Gamari kan Miss Manas nak salin So we just look here Gamari banyak sikit Okay so for Gamma Ray You must know Gamma Ray Eh sorry Gamma Ray pula Gamma DK Dia adalah unstable elements Okay dia adalah unstable elements Maksudnya awak kena tahu satu benda Gamma DK ini dia tak akan tambah Atau tolak ray Dia cuma akan emit the ray only So maksudnya dia tak akan, akan absorb Dia tak akan release It's only going to emit the ray So unstable nucleus will release energy in the form of high frequency. So bila dia release energy in the form of high frequency, kita akan panggil dia sebagai gamma rays. Okay, and then photons. Photons akan are emitted when an excited nucleus changes from, ni changes tau ya Allah, my handwriting. Pardon my handwriting. Changes. Changes from a higher level of energy to a ground state. Maksudnya you akan ada excited nucleus. Maksudnya nucleus yang gede-gede-gede-gede. Dia dekat energy yang level tinggi tau. Sampai dia tukar energy dia kepada ground state. Bila dia dah tukar energy barulah photons are emitted. Then a nucleus also undergoes alpha and beta decay may also emit gamma rays and the mass number and atomic number of the nucleus will remain the same meaning you punya atom nuclear number is still the same so nuclear number is still the same okay itu sahaja for gamma decay I don't want to copy. Look, you can see or not? Sure. And if you are done, you can read the summary of radioactive emission by yourself. Okay, I have a question. Between alpha, beta and gamma, which one has the slope, the weakest <coughs> penetration power? Alpha. Remember the experiment? Yang dia boleh pass through a sheet of paper, your hand and then our aluminium. So remember eh, alpha is the weakest. Will gamma ray deflected if you are the electric field? No, no deflection for gamma ray eh. So but it the effect on magnetic field and electric field. Time is it already? Are you guys tired? No, yes. Miss yang bercakap. Korang cuma... You see, eh? you only listen. You guys only listen and writing. I have to speak, right? So, we... siapa lagi tired? Miss. Hmm. A bit more, a bit more. Then you guys can listen to sejarah only. 11.3 is about introduction to particle physics only. Okay, you're all done. You're sure done. You're sure done. Memang nak go dah. Fatin? Not yet? Tak feel again? Santi? Ha, Izati, Izati tu listen ni sebelum tahu yang mana, yang mana. Nombor berapa? Nombor berapa? Okay, a nucleus that undergoes alpha or beta decay may also emit gamma rays. Okay, boys done? Dia hebat macam mana? Dan tapi masih tengah tulis? Ha, belum. Mawadah dengan Hana? 
Sudah. Sudah. Baiklah. Okay, read, read summary of radioactive emission. Nanti Miss will ask question. Okay, gamma travel with speed of what? Gamma travel dengan speed of? Baik, nasib baik. What about ionization for gamma? Strong, moderate or weak? Weak. Okay, very good. Beta plus will deflect to what plate? Negative or positive if, if there is electric field? Hmm, okay, you all very good lah. No need to learn from me lah. Okay, done? Done, done, done. Ivati done? Okay, mari kita proceed. Dengan the next part. Okay, I'll give you one minute break. Eh? Lepas tu kita akan teruskan dengan oh, okay. Cannot, cannot. We, we do kita tulis balik. Okay, then only we proceed with this one. Just like you want me to break. Pelajar Muslim, waktu Miss bagi break ni, bacalah doa banyak-banyak sebab korang tengah menuntut ilmu tau. So, doa apa-apa korang nak, insyaAllah. Kalau awak kata dimabukan, dimabukan. So, just pray a lot, pertama bulan puasa ni. Okay, Miss proceed boleh ke? InsyaAllah. Kalau kita habis awal, kita balik awal. I don't think so, but yeah. Okay, so the next one is state and use decay law. Okay, state and use decay law. So, rate of decay ataupun kita kenali dia sebagai decay rate, ini dn dt, is directly proportional to the number of radioactive nuclei ataupun atom remaining in the source. Okay, maksudnya dia adalah rate of decay ni dia directly proportional So D and DT directly proportional to number of nukli ataupun atom remaining in the source So bila dia directly proportional, kita boleh tambah con constant So you know D and DT equals to negative DK constant Please, for this chapter, this is not wave wavelength tetapi dia adalah DK constant. So, why there is minus sign? So, minus sign dalam calculation kita akan ignore dia je lah. Maksudnya, your, kita tak akan minus sign ni dia ada reason dia. Okay. So, negative sign. Okay, sambil-sambil salin je lah. Dengar sambil salin. Negative sign means that the number of nuclei The number of nuclei present decreases with time. Present decreases with time. Okay, maksudnya you punya number of nuclei tu akan makin decrease as your time increases. So we don't include negative in calculation lah. So, there is other name for DNDT. DNDT, dia boleh jadi rate of decay. Dia juga boleh jadi decay of alpha. Uh, this is not alpha, this is gamma. Okay, decay of alpha, beta and gamma per second. Or, nama lain dia lagi adalah Number of alpha, number of alpha, beta, particles per second. Per second. Okay, so yang bentuk lambda ni, it is not wavelength. Tapi dia adalah decay constant. Remember, decay constant. Dan N adalah number of nuclei. Nuclei. And remember, this is very important. Your decay constant cannot be negative.
Okay, can everyone? Okay, a bit more, a bit more to right. Lepas tu korang dengar je. Okay, everyone done? Hana done? Mawada done? Is that it? Okay, good. Okay, so the next one, sorry. So the next one is we're going to define, define and determine activity A and DK constant. First of all, you need to know activity is equals to rate of DK. So kita kan belajar rate of DK, DN, DT equals to negative DK constant darab dengan number of nuclei. And at the same time, your rate of decay akan sama dengan activity A, AT. AT is activity A subscript T. So therefore, activity is equals to negative decay constant darab dengan number of nu nuclei. So AT is activity. Okay, salin. Sambil salin dengan je. Sambil salin boleh? So therefore, activity and rate of decay will have the same unit. Let me start aja mengenai unit dia. Okay, next is DK constant. Okay, DK constant ini dia adalah DK constant of a nuclei is defined as the probability of DK of a nucleus per unit time. Okay, probability untuk di DK of a nucleus per unit time. So, sebab itu kita tahu DK constant ini dia adalah this. This is your DK constant. So, DK constant, the unit is per second. So, you need to know one thing. As your DK constant increases, what will happen to your rate of DK? Increase ke decreases? Increase. Your rate of DK will increase. So, your DK constant, the other unit, other units yang dia boleh jadi adalah Ni per second kan? Okay, mesti tulis lah. Dia boleh jadi per second ataupun per hours, per minutes, per days, per months and per years. Ah, Banyaklah semualah per decades, per century, whatever, all can. As long as it's time. Okay, so for rate of decay dan activity, unit dia adalah decays per second. Decays per second. So depends lah, dia boleh jadi juga decays per years, decay per months, decay per weeks. Depends on the question. Boleh? So dia decays per second ataupun another unit. Unit dia sama juga. Kita panggil dia bacterial, bacterial, bacterial. So dia adalah BQ. Kita mesti kecikan. Bacterial. I don't know how to pronounce it. How to pronounce it? Back, bacterial. I don't know lah. Must be some scientist name. Bacterial. Okay. So you need to know one thing. One bacterial, bacterial will be same as one decay per one second. Okay, this is for rate of decay punya unit tau. Rate of decay. And then you need to know one thing as well. One curie, one curie akan sama dengan 3.7 times 10 to power of 10 decays per second. Decay per second. 
Ataupun unit dia lagi satu adalah back per row. Oh no, something happened we are. Backquarrel, backquarrel. Okay, we nampak ke? Done? So, very important eh. You kena tahu eh. Remember, so rate of decay, the unit is decay per second, per minute, per hour, per day, per week, per month, per year and etc. Century ke, wherever lah. Okay. Dan, rate of decay and activity, they will share the same unit. So decay per per, de, per second ini dia juga sama dengan back curl. So one back curl is equals to one decay per one second. And one query akan bersamaan dengan 3.7 times 10 to power of 10 back curl ataupun decay per second. Okay kan? If decay constant yang lambda tu macam wavelength tu dia punya symbol tu dia adalah per second, per minutes, per months, per years and etc. Okay everyone done? Dan Okay, good. So, Miss akan proceed dengan next one. So, we need to use. Use what? Okay, we need to use equation. Equation of nuclei remaining at time. Dan juga equation of activity at time t. Okay. So, equation dia adalah n to n naught exponent negative decay constant darab dengan time. If activity pun sama, activity not, exponent, decay constant, darab dengan time. And adalah nukli re remaining. Dan and not adalah nukli at time equals to zero. A adalah activity at time. C. And not adalah activity at time equals to zero. Okay, so for this one, the unit is nuclei. And this one, unit is back coral ataupun decay per constant lah. Decay per second, sorry, decay per, decay per second or back curl. I should write all like this good. Yeah. Can. Okay, uh, are you guys still okay? Okay, so nuclei. Okay, bila kita cakap pula kat pasal nuklei kan? So, we will have for example 100 nuklei. As time goes by, by, macam time makin meningkat, dia mesti akan tinggal sedikit nuklei, betul tak? So, waktu nuklei dia banyak, dia adalah N0. Waktu nuklei dia... Boleh ke? Okay, a bit more. Semua dah macam stress dah. Okay, so the next one adalah... Define a new half-life. Okay, this is the last part korang nak tulis. Lepas tu tak ada apa dia nak tulis. So, the, the next one is define a new half-life. So, what is half-life? Have you guys heard about it before? So, there adalah time required for the number of radioactive nuclei to decrease to half of its original number of nu nuclei. For example, 
you ada 100 and then you nak decrease dia kan kepada 50 betul tak so what what is the time taken that is half life so that's all so half life adalah ln to over decay constant and unit dia boleh jadi seconds minutes hours lagi apa days months mesti tinggal lah weeks months years and etc okey Okay, can guys? That's all. Okay, so example, example kita ada example apa? 3, 4, 5, 6. It's okay. Uh, hold dulu. Miss nak ajak 11.3 boleh? Penat kan? Are you guys tired? Dia tired so korang duduk lelakon. So miss aja budak lain duduk dekat, dekat BT. Panas. So they don't have to...